Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, and I'm going to show y'all how to install and use the mod Task Force Arrowhead Radio, or otherwise known as TFAR. Let's get started. Alright, so, first, what you're going to want to install is TeamSpeak. It's very, very simple, just click free download, and it's very simple from there. I'm not going to need to show you how to do that, because I guarantee y'all know how to do that already. Now, once you have TeamSpeak installed, what you're going to want to do is... Go up in here, type in task, and it should show up Task Force Arrowhead Radio Beta. Once you have located your Task Force Arrowhead Radio mod, you're going to want to go down here to the three dots down here. Click it, and then you're going to want to click Open Folder in Windows Explorer. Click I Understand, and it should take you to Windows Explorer. And you're going to want to choose Task Force Arrowhead Radio Beta, and it should already highlight that one. You're going to want to click it. You're going to want to go into the TeamSpeak folder, and you should see a plugin here. You're going to want to double click on the plugin, and this should show up. You're going to want to click install. You're about to install a plugin for your TeamSpeak client. Yep, yep. Trust the plugin. Proceed installing. Now that it is installed, you're going to want to click yes on this to activate it. And if you had, T if you had TeamSpeak already open, you're going to want to restart that. So click yes. Now, TFAR should be installed. However, let's check. Type in TeamSpeak up here. Open your TeamSpeak. Now that you have your TeamSpeak open, you're going to want to go to Tools up here. Go down to Options. Go to Add-ons. Scroll down. Make sure you have Task Force Arrowhead Radio here. And you're going to want to have it enabled like this. Your TeamSpeak, however, probably will not look like mine, as I have a add-on installed for dark mode. Your TeamSpeak will be light mode, but that doesn't matter. I'm just stating that if yours looks different, that's why. You're going to want to look, you're going to want to check, make sure this is enabled. If it says enabled, you're all set. You want to click OK. You're ready to go. You've now successfully installed TFAR. Now, I'm going to show you how to use TFAR. Now that we're in the game, I'm going to show you how to use the radios themselves. First, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check to make sure you have a TFAR specific radio. Uh, for instance, I'm using the ANPRC-152. The TFAR radios will show up in the arsenal with a TFAR logo on the side, on the right side of the uh, selection, like any other mod. Now, what you're going to want to do to control the radio is press Control e this will bring this up. You can move it around and all that, but I like to keep it over here. This is your channel right here. You can change channels by doing something like this. You can change your channel, channel 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, what have you. Pretty simple. Over here is your frequency. This will determine what frequency you talk on this specific channel. It's very straightforward. What you want to do is you're going to want to clear the frequency and the squad leader or whoever will have a frequency set. For instance, uh, my group normally uses 100.5. So you're just going to type that in using the keys on your keyboard. Very, very simple. And you're going to want to go down here to set frequency. I like to spam it a little bit to make sure that it gets the frequency right. And uh, now your radio is set on 100.5. And to actually talk over the radio, you're going to want to hold caps lock like this. See, I'm transmitting over the radio. As you can see on the bottom right, it shows what channel I am transmitting over and what frequency and also what radio I am using at the at the time. However, there's one thing that you're going to want to do before doing that. You're going to want to press escape, go right on down here to configure, controls, then under the drop down menu, you're going to want to choose multiplayer. It, normally, your push to talk will be caps lock as well. If you have your push to talk uh, caps lock and your radio caps lock you'll be hearing your radio and your vanilla push to talk at the same time and that is not fun for anybody listening to it so what you're going to want to do click your push to talk select the caps lock i i already have it unbound so it's not there but what you're going to do is you're going to want to click the caps lock here and then you want to click delete and now that's gone you're going to click okay okay continue and now when you press caps lock 
you shouldn't be transmitting over the base game radio, which is uh, trash. <laughs> to control the volume of your voice and how far your voice travels, you're going to want to press control and tab. As you can see on the bottom right, a little a little uh, icon shows up. There's like a uh, there's a whispering one, as you can see there. There's a normal talking voice, and then there's a shouting. Shouting uh, makes your voice louder, and it carries it farther. And whispering, I don't think I have to tell you what whispering does, and I don't think I have to tell you what the normal talking voice does. It's just like real life. You, you can shout, you can whisper, you can talk normally. It's very simple. And now, you know how to use TFAR. I hope this tutorial helped you, and I hope you enjoy what, uh, what kind of gameplay TFAR can bring, because it's a very unique experience that I wholeheartedly recommend. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I'll see ya. Peace.